this video goes with this blog post which I'm going to be publishing at the same time as I publish the video and it's all about where to find places in Europe where you can park your motorhome either free or very cheap so I suggest you kind of read the blog post and sort of go along with the video because it's gonna uh, make more sense that way because there's information in the blog post which is easier to put in a written format and of course all the links are in there uh, but the video makes it easier to kind of show you the kinds of things I'm looking at so first of all this is specifically for motorhomes though there are some of the places that I'll mention you can park other things like caravans and um, but basically it's for motorhomes and the reason being a lot of these places are designed for vehicles that are self-contained where you've got you've already got your kitchen on board your bathroom on board and obviously a place to sleep so if we go, um, first of all, I explain here what service points are, and that's where I'm just explaining. Um, a service point is somewhere where you can obtain some fresh water for your vehicle, and these dump points, places where you can dump out your grey waste, which is what comes from the sinks and the showers, and your black waste, which is your toilet cassette, if you've got one of those on board. So in Europe, we have something called an air. Now something else I'll just explain here is that um, this this video this blog post is about all of Europe but I'm going to be kind of using France as an example because I'm going to be traveling in France and that's where I've done most of my research but all of this stuff applies anywhere in Europe so in France these are called air de service and um, yeah just about every country in Europe has them but not the UK which is one where I'm from this is a, a photograph as an example of one um, and there's there are places where you can park your motorhome and it's got a service point. Now these very often you can park other things, you know, there are some which are on the motorway which are more like kind of truck stops where you'll find lorries and stuff and of course you can park vans there. Not sure on caravans. So they should all provide the three basic services and the great thing about them is that most of the time they're free. Some of them cost a few euros, um, but usually it's just it might just be under five euros, and they're usually free for 24 hours, sometimes 48. Um, now in France, it's a legal requirement that every town over a certain size provide them, and I think it's about three and a half thousand. But as I've said, every you know all the other sort of major countries in Europe have them you know the, the main places obviously more obscure obscure countries are not sure about Eastern Europe but certainly in Western Europe you know like uh, Germany Spain Italy and you know, all of the, these sorts of places have got them so um, the facilities can really vary some of them are very basic it would just be a place to park and dump your tanks it might be on a motorway which would be very noisy some of them you know can be very busy I mean this one here you know you're packed in like sardines and then some of them can be really lovely so you've got this uh, book that you can buy now personally I'm not really keen on having physical books I prefer to do everything from the computer so if we go over to this website here I can actually show you how it works and we'll take a little look around so you can put in here the different languages so I'm going to select English and it shows you a map now this is as I've said it's geared for France but I'm fairly sure you can go to any other country on here I'm not sure this one might just be for France ah it is okay so I'll show you how it works so you've got a map here and you just zoom in so oh yes you need to sorry you need to control to zoom in so I'm going to be going down towards Montpellier down here on the south coast so if we just start to, to zoom in you see more and more down here and if I scroll over these are the, the different sort of legends so all the blue ones are mini Ugh, I can never say this word municipal stopover which I think means I actually don't know what that word means I'm sure somebody in the comments will explain um, but those are the be, be the ones that are generally free or very cheap the purple ones are private so you'll probably be paying for those but what you can do is you can zoom in and click and get more information uh, green ones are yes free ones so let's have a let's have a look at a few of these so let's click on this blue one and it shows you here various icons so this means it's got electric hookup water 
um, obviously it's got car parking this icon is for your black waste the chemical disposal point this is for your gray waste not sure what this one is oh washing oh it's the same thing uh generally speaking most vehicles have got one waste tank for both of those but i guess this has both here so it shows you the latitude and longitude address and for this that's about all it has so if we come back to the map zoom in again so we look at a purple one see if there's any more this was supposed to be in english I think these are in fr in French because it's designed for France. So tariff eight euros. That's actually pretty expensive. All it's got is water, doesn't have any dump points, and it costs eight euros. So I certainly wouldn't be um, staying in that one. Let's try one of these green ones. Just parking. So this is. If we have a look here, parking centre-ville, so that means it's city centre parking and it's just a place to park. So this isn't somewhere where you'd necessarily stay overnight, um, but it could be good if you wanted to visit that particular city. So this website has got sort of basic information. It's not the best, but it's where those particular uh, areas are for France. I don't know if there's others. This Vicarious Media is the... The company that publishes the books if we have a look at their publications um, yeah we've got a lot for France France has definitely got the most but they've got others where are they yeah why do we call them airs what are airs tells you about the service points I'm trying to find the section that shows you all the different books Oh, they must have changed their website. Anyway, somewhere on here, you can see all the different books they have. They've got books for like Spain and Portugal and all over the place. So let's close these ones down, come back to the blog post. Now, this is something which is just for France, something which I'm going to be using, um, making use of. It's called Camping Car Parks, and it's a network of sites which is just a little bit more upmarket. Now, this is just for, there are a couple in other countries here. So it looks like you've got one in, is that Luxembourg? Not sure. So the, there's not as many of them, but they've all got good facilities and most of them include electric hookup. So this is what I'm going to be using as I start to travel down towards the south coast. Um, before I get myself set up, um, we'll say a gas bottle. I'm not going to be running like my fridge on gas until I've got a new gas bottle So I want to be on electric hookup. So for example, these two are likely to be one of my first stops on my trip So as you hover over you can see available spots seven of nine Click on see more we can get more information Probably should have opened that in another tab actually Yeah, so we've got the dump points here Where's that gone? So some ah okay. So first of all, we've got some photos. Now this is showing you photos of the local area. It's not particularly helpful. And this is just the entrance barrier. So most of these have got a gated system, and you use a card, which I'll show you in a minute, um, to gain access. So they're much more secure than the regular air um, airs. So this shows you that there are eight electric hookups and they provide you 10 amps of electricity it's important to look at the ampage because this really varies i have seen some which have got as low as four amps and that's very very low you won't run much on that i think i'd struggle even to run just my little heater on that fresh water bins security so that i think means that they get they've got the gated access and i think they also have cctv and in this case we've got free wi-fi now personally i'm not using the Wi-Fi because I've kind of got my own but that's going to be quite an important thing for many people and it shows you how much it costs so this is one of the rare ones that's more than 10 euros this is 11.25 now let me go back um, to the main map and show you a couple more uh, I didn't want to do that way how did I do this before I just clicked on the home page to get the 
I prefer those maps where you can just kind of scroll around and see where you are. Here we go. Right, so what was the other one? So I'm just going to put this in a, unless this has only got six spaces. Let's find one down here that's got a few more. 21. Right, let's open that in another tab. So this one's bigger. You've got 21 pitches and right now there are 17 open. So this is something I really like because with the other airs, there's no way to book in advance and there's no real way of knowing if, if they're full or not. So you have to just go there, turn up and hope for the best and hope that you can get a spot. With these ones, it tells you right now there's 17 pitches available, so I don't have to worry. And also, they allow you to book in advance, and the, and you can stay as long as you like. You're not restricted to the 24 or 48 hours, but then, of course, that's because you're paying. I mean, this is €8.40. So if we have a look at the services here, you've got your dump points. There's 21 pitches. 20 of those have got electric hookup, but look, the amperage is a bit lower, which is 6 amps. Now, 6 amps is okay. That will allow you to run. Um, I've got a, an 800 watt heater and that runs um fine on six amps um and I can, you can run you know a laptop tv and so forth so you've got your water rubbish the security again and free wi-fi so let's have a look at some of the photos so again you're seeing a gated system and then it's um so there you go so they're not particularly pretty inside but you know it's secure so with this particular site um, what you do is you have to buy a card in advance and now apologies in advance if I'm fumbling around the website here we go this past the tap now this is something which I have already purchased I bought it a couple of weeks ago the card itself costs you four euros and then that allows you to go in and out of those uh, gates so that gives you access to the whole network and it only costs you four euros and that's all it is but what you can do you've got two options you can put a charge on it so you can load that card with some money in advance which means that you've then uh, you, you've got it preloaded so you don't have to worry about paying and this booking option for this you would need to pay 24 euros for a year which is what I've done and then it allows you to book in advance so I think this is going to become quite useful in the summer months you know uh, July August school holidays everything is like fully booked every you know all the the touristy places are really busy you can book in advance you see so this is what I've done I've bought this card I've, I went for the booking option I loaded it up with a bunch of euros I think I paid about a hundred euros in all I've got like 78 something euros on there so this is one which I I really like but it is it is just for France all right so let's close this down come back to the um, blog post so I've got a video on here of um, one of the airs which looks rather nice this is right on a water's edge here and it's, it's very nice okay next up we have something called france passion now again even though this is specific to france is this scheme is available in many other countries so let me go over to the website and i'll try to explain what it is right do they have this in english yes they do so what this is here we go it says it here 2000 wine growers farmers and tradespeople what they do is they will allow you these are these are places of of business local businesses in the country and they will allow you to park your motorhome on their premises for free for 24 hours and the only requirement is that you just have a look at what they have to sell so they all sell something so obviously the wine growers are going to sell wine farmers are going to sell whatever they have it might be cheese it might be pate it might be jam whatever local products it might be you know like eggs and dairy if it's a dairy farm and then there's trades there's a few trades people as well you know doing local arts and crafts there's no obligation to buy but of course you can now i love this scheme because 
these are the kinds of places where I would go and seek out to visit anyway because I love visiting little local places um, that have got you know local fruit and um, foods and stuff and the scheme started in France over 20 years ago I think it's like 26 years ago this started and this shows you the map um, of all the places where you can go now I have I've got a membership here so let me see if I can just log in all right the way this works very very cheap to join all you do is buy the book and I think it costs 30 euros you buy the book that's it that's all you've got to pay up front because of course each of the you know participants in the scheme they want to join it because they want to attract people to their business it's kind of a win-win really you know the businesses get more trade and for us as travelers in our motorhomes we get places to stay so it's a really really awesome scheme now once you're in the members area I think you can yeah you can do a search online on the map here so that you can filter it in various different ways and I think we can I know you have to actually do a search I'm not going to bother doing that now but basically you can search and narrow it all down but this is not restricted to France because as this has been so popular it's been copied by other countries I'm just going to try and find where it is similar networks okay it took me a moment to find that so this is the other countries so this is available in England I have this Brit stops we've got it in Germany Switzerland Martinique is that even a country USA Australia uh, Spain now I think there used to be one in Italy as well and I don't know yes yeah, see there's one here for Italy but not but the um, you can't visit the website I don't think it's there anymore but there's quite a few places that do it now France is the biggest you know it's over, it's got over 2,000 uh, Brit stops for 2018 has about 900 because I've got that one um, obviously I haven't done the others yet so this is a really nice scheme but there's a, a couple of things to note one is that again it is purely for motorhomes not caravans not tents not trucks just motorhomes you have to be completely self-contained so you have to have your bathroom facilities you know your toilet your kitchen and you can't it's not a campsite what you can't do is you can't expect to sort of park up put your awning up get your camping chair I mean, she's got a picture of someone's awning up but the rules say not to do that and to just just park you know it's not a campsite so that's that scheme um, let's come back to the blog post now so this is a picture of my map and the book that I have this is a little video of one of the places and I thought that the food looked amazing now one um, one issue for me personally is that I run an online business and so it's very important for me to be able to get a, a good enough electricity on the road to be able to run my laptops for laptops I've got two but only one at a time usually for potentially hours a day so my electricity requirement is usually a lot higher than most people traveling a lot of people are going to spend the whole day out and about exploring and maybe just chuck the telly on for a couple of hours in the evening and that's it but for me I want to find electricity and so I like to make use of websites where I can do a search and kind of narrow down what the facilities are so on this next section I've got a whole bunch of sites some of them have got apps as well which go with your phone uh, where you can do searches and this is what I really like so the first one here park for night this is the biggest it's got 56,000 locations in its database there are 25 of them 25,000 again are in France though so there are a lot but it's just huge if we have a look at the map now this this is not limited to motorhomes this is as you can see you've got camper vans motorhomes little trucks they've got parking spaces and if we have a look at it this is the whole of Europe this is everything you know this is this is even going 
Does it go fast to, uh, far to Eastern Europe? Some of it. Look. Ooh. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, Bulgaria. Konya. I don't know what that is. Greece, Turkey, down there, Italy. Okay. So, we just zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. So, where am I? I'm going to be looking around. Oh, my God. <laughs> Montpellier. This has a lot. Now, we've got some filters here. Where are the filters? So, we click this button. And this will show you the filters. So free. So you might want to click off the paying ones. You might say, no, I want to park for free. We've got picnic areas. This is a motorway rest area. You might think, no, no, I don't want to stay on the motorway. Take this off. Um, some here, we've got service areas. We can't park, but they're just service areas. So no, I want to park. Now this is camping. So if you're in a tent, you might want to take all of these off and just leave this on. Now I don't want to park in campsites, I don't want grass, so I'm going to take them off. So then we've got off-road, we've got farms, parking day and night, so I'm going to take off parking day only. You might want to just have on these, uh, surrounded by nature. You can put in the height limit of your vehicle. So mine is, it's just over 3 metres, so I'm going to put 3.1. And that is still a heck of a lot. So you can just zoom in, and when you click, you get a little preview of what it is. We've got some uh, ratings, comments, cost, gratuit. So this is free. Did I click on all the free ones? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Ooh. 27 comments. So here we go. So we'll look at this one. Uh, can I do this on a separate page? Yeah, new tab. So, obviously this is in France, sometimes it will be in France, so we have the GPS coordinates, the address, again, uh, so this is icons showing you what's nearby, I'm trying to find icons to show you what's actually at the place. Okay, this is simply, if you look, look at the picture, it's just a place to, to park up. So this is just kind of, this is wild camping, you know, there's no facilities here. Bienvenue or camping cariste. I don't know what cariste means. So stationment, uh, basically, yeah, une nuit. That means you can park here for one night. Cool. So these are usually photos that visitors have uploaded. One nice thing about this particular website and app is because it's so popular, there's quite a lot of interaction. So that you've got photos on this one and look at all the comments. So you can see when the comment was left. You know, if someone says back in 2013, oh, this was terrible, you might ignore it because that's five years ago. So a lot of these are in French. You can just do a good old translate to English. Gotta love Google Translate. There, right, okay. So if I come back to this, this time, I'm just gonna put the paid ones on there. And just to get an idea. So, see location. We've got three photographs. Oh, here we go. Pretty rough and ready there. Oh, actually, that's great views. Look at that. I, I would like to park there and wake up to that view. That would be nice. Yeah, so how much does this cost? So here we've got actual facilities. So it's seven euros. Uh, I'm going to guess that means, oh yes, this is 7 euros low season, 9 euros high season, and it's open from March to September. So again, you can use Google Translate if you don't know the French. Water, dog friendly, um, this is your grey waste, this is your black waste, and it's got bins. So this has got all facilities apart from electricity, but you're paying for the location in this case. So again, we've got all the GPS and address, and then again, you know, comments. So that's park for night. 
Now, what's nice about Park for Night is that it has a phone map, phone map, phone app along with it. And I don't know if I've done a, um, a different site. It has a function which just says search near me. If you ever get lost, you just lo load up the app, tap the little icon that says search near me, and you'll see all the places that are nearby, and you'll find somewhere to park. So if you've got this app, you never have to worry about, oh my god, I'm, I'm not going to be able to park. You know, you will. You'll be able to find something. So that's park for night. Okay, search for sites. So I've kind of put these in order of how much stuff they have. So this one's 30,000 locations. Um, and I quite like this because of the, the filter facilities here. You can you can do quite a lot of filtering. So where are we? I'm going to zoom out. I don't know if I've already picked a place. I don't know how this works. I can't remember. That's to click around the set. There's a there's a option on here. I can't remember how it works. Oh, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Um, you just move this around, and then it will search there. So again, if I look around near Montpellier, zoom in a bit. So we have got lots of filters, which I can't find. Oh, there's some filters over here. I'm sure there's something else. Miles. Hmm. I can't find the filters. But I've got it there. So I'm being stupid today. I've had very little sleep. But again, we can... Ooh, hover over something, um, get a little bit of information, overnight parking services, campsite, what's this one, this is guide price free, so I don't think there's as much oh, information on here as on the others, oh no it does, so authorised motorhome parking day or night doesn't have any services, but I think this one was free, this one has a website, yes it's free, has toilets though, but again, we've got, so it shows you what you can park, weather directions, usable places. And I think there are somewhere where you can put photos. Maybe I'm just not finding good ones with photos. Okay, let's search somewhere else. Yeah. So look at, they've got a lot of campsites along the coast here. Right, so this looks like it's got ratings, comments, and photos. Okay, so here we've got some photos. That's a bit better. Most of these sites are quite similar. You know, you're going to have photos. Oh, there we go. Well, this has got some reviews and some uh, comments. Now, apologies, I can't find where the filters were. I'm being... Oh, maybe it was this, the advanced search. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, let's get back to the blog post. Um, camper contact. Now, this one I like. This is specifically for motorhomes. It's got 25,000 places. And I do like this one because I, I like the way the information is presented. So, um, it's got quite a lot of information on each one. Now, again, there is, yeah, search on the world map. I much prefer to go into map view rather than, like, looking for an address. That's just my personal preference, just how I prefer to do things. Because I just kind of know where I am and just like to sort of look around. So, if we have a look here, it will show you how many there are in each country. So Germany has got just under 5,000. France has got 6,000. We've got uh, 1,300 in the Netherlands. We've got Norway, Poland. So this is, you know, this is the whole of Europe. Spain, 1,300. So France and Germany are the biggest catered for with this particular one. 
So I'm going to filter down to France. Now you can filter here, regions, you can do open from. Now for the filters here, we've got lots of filters, but you might have to click several times. So for example, for me, electricity might be important. So I'll click down there for electricity and we've now got 3,397 of them when this finally loads. So that's filtered down the list. And then you can carry on filtering. So I might say, right, well, I definitely want chemical toilet discharge so I can dump my tanks and so forth. So you can click on more things. Shower might be quite good because I don't really like, well, I've never even tried the shower on my motorhome yet. So let's say I want a place with a shower as well. Now I haven't said, um, I haven't put down a cost here, but it will show you what it is. And this will include, um, I believe, campsites as well. So now let's start zooming in, seeing what we have. Now this is sli slightly annoying in that you have to kind of zoom in a bit further. So these are all kind of campsites. Let's have a look at what we have here. Woo, that's expensive. 20 euros. Probably anything that has a shower is probably going to be like a proper campsite and so forth. But this one I like because we've got usually lots and lots of photos. They're good quality photos. It gives you all the information here. Very clear on the pricing. Very clear on the facilities. And then again, lots of information. And usually what I find is that these are in English. I mean, look at the you know the number of places we have here so this website I just like the way the information is um, presented so let's I'm going to clear the shower I think that will restrict my options and what's nice about this one is it has quite a lot of information just when you hover come on you gotta zoom in quite far to see them But as you just hover over, or click, sorry, oh, my internet's being slow. It shows you the main information straight away. So you can say, oh, that one's 15, this 26 places, this is when it's open. And you've got a rating here. So you can, you can filter through quickly going around the map. That's the one I just looked at, wasn't it? Um, without having to, you know, go into the full detail on each one. So I'll just see if I can find a cheap one, which I doubt along this coast. 13 bucks, uh, 13 bucks, 13 euros actually. So we'll look at this one. So it's 18 places for 13 euros a night. Let's see what it has. So you're quite close. You'll be very snug with the other motorhomes. Especially, you can stay here for four days. So we got the wastewater discharge, which is free. Chemical discharge is free. Ooh, electricity free. So what that means is the electric hookup is provided. Oh, and this oh this one has a shower and washing facilities. Well, that's not bad then for for thirteen euros. So there you go. This is Camper Connect. That's one I quite like. I think that's the last one. Yep, that is it. So. Apologies for the long video. This was very, very long, but I just thought it might be useful for people that prefer to watch as well as read. So thank you very much for watching. Please visit the blog if you need any further information.